Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Power the phone down, then remove and reinsert the SIM card. Power the phone back on and see if it's any better, it may not be making a good connection due to a bump or drop. If that doesn't work, then you see a get a new SIM card at a corporate Verizon store, or have one mailed to you from customer service. Make your mark, take our lead. In other words, if you have a recent iPhone with 4G LTE service, you will not need to unlock your phone. If you have a locked 3G World device phone with Verizon, you can use unlock code 0000 or 123456 or call 800-922-0204 for help. Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Sometimes dust can get between the SIM and your phone causing communication issues. To remove the dust, turn off your phone and remove the SIM card. Replace the battery and turn your phone on without the SIM. Turn your phone off, replace the SIM and restart the phone. Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. 72786 is a function we build into our phones to do two things on a handset. It clears specific network and system access values used on a phone that are specific to each customer's subscription. 2. It triggers the device to go back to the Sprint provisioning systems to get new values to replace the cleared ones. Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. If you have a locked 3G World device phone with Verizon, you can use unlock code 0000 or 123456 or call 800-922-0204 for help. Verizon's 3G prepaid phone in the box phones can be unlocked after 12 months of service. Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Make sure that there is network coverage in the area and insert the SIM into a compatible phone. If the SIM is active, it will connect to the network and show the signal strength of the network. It will also say GSM or 3G or 4G. If the SIM is not active it will say something like no service. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.